Hello people, I'm t today I'm showing off my three jackpot slot machine. So you probably have seen, I mean maybe seen, my original slot machine video. I saw a slot machine on Reddit, but it didn't have a working jackpot, it just, you visually, in your head, you know that you won the jackpot, and I thought, that's not very satisfying at all. So I made it so that when you got all three diamonds, uh, it would, what's it called? <clears throat> when you got all three diamonds. Yeah, it would, it would, it would dispense two diamonds. Uh, for this one, um, whenever I, so this you can fill, you can make it set so it accepts diamonds, or, actually in this case, because of how I'm, the amounts I made it dispense, I think it'd be better if it was like one iron, but I have it set up right now for diamonds, so I press this. Put the diamond in there. Oh, hey, iron jackpot. So, just wait. There's three types of jackpots. So, there's an iron jackpot, which means you get one iron ingot. If you get all three iron, if you get all three diamonds, you get one diamond. And if you get all three gold, you get one gold. So, maybe this would be good for if I, uh, if the payment was, oh hey, gold jackpot, is the payment with iron, give me the gold baby, yeah, gold baby, I want to get all three jackpots, so how I believe this works, is, so each of these dispensers, here, really quick, I'll just show you, has three stacks of each, and this is how you can change the the different, uh, what's it called? The probabilities. So, for example, if you wanted to make so the diamond jackpot occurred less, you'd say take a stack out and maybe even add an extra stack of iron or gold to offset it. But for right now, there's a third chance to do any of them, and then so it's a third to the power of three. Uh, I don't, I don't know that off the top of my head but a third to the three chance of any one particular jackpot. And of course times that by three to get the, yeah. Let's get the diamond jackpot and then I'll explain how the, how it works. If I don't get it in two more tries, I'll give up. Is that another gold jackpot? guess not. Okay. Anyways, so, let me show you how this works. So, you press the button, right? Uh, all of these droppers drop an item, and then, uh, 12 ticks later, uh, this opens, which lets them fall into these hoppers, you see? And then, essentially, it's a hopper stream sorting system, right? So, goes down here, and that's the one that checks for the diamond jackpot. And now all three of these are coded, are auto sorters that are coded to detect for diamonds. So essentially, the item goes down into here. It has a choice. It can either go here or it can be sucked up by here. Since it wants to go here, it will do so. But since this is actually, um, I don't know why, but if for some reason if it can go here, then it will go here instead. Uh, and then that, that, that principle applies to all of them. And so, this one is the gold jackpot, and this one is the iron jackpot. I don't need the auto sorter here, because theoretically all of the diamonds and gold have been taken out. But just as a precaution, these are all filled with just iron, so that only iron can get in them. And you can tell by the fact that none of these hoppers are backlogged, that all of the sorters work properly. All right. So each of these modules here that detect a certain jackpot um, are connected to a three-way AND gate, which is connected to the output, or the output is connected to a dropper here, right? And so, let me break this. The dropper puts it up into the hopper and into the center hopper, which puts it into this chest. Uh, yeah. Oh yes, and I suppose I should show you how to do the button thing. It's just one auto sorter that detects for um, 
Yeah, you detect for a specific item, just like it, just like these. Uh, you might want to name these, just so that like if someone tries, because if someone found the item, like uh, for this, they could theoretically put a beehive in here. It would take the diamond out, and then they could code it for whatever they want. And I let me just show you that really quick. So theoretically, this is also a way, if you really want, you can cheat your friend's stories, although don't do this, because if you're on a realm, don't steal, it's just rude. But, so for example, you see, I put a, I put a beehive in here, I press it, right, it does go off, right, but now, this is an uncoded auto-sorter, it'll sort for, or actually it'll just let anything through, because now, um, yeah, anything that goes in here will be pumped out, and since now anything, yeah, this slot will always be empty, no matter what, as I'm trying to say. But, of course, you don't normally want that. So, if you want your store to be ultra-protected, name, name these items. And actually, while I'm here, I'm going to make a set of codes for iron, just to make it easier, or make it make more sense. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little six minute video. If you haven't seen the first slot machine I did, then now you don't need to. <laughs> By the way, in case you haven't noticed, this is kind of like my best of world. I mean, minus these, because these I just did for fun. Uh, I'm not going to promo, but yeah. Get it nice. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to get that diamond jackpot. Diamond jackpot for the lads. Another gold jackpot. Come on. Two gold, two gold jackpots in a row. See, it, and it works. Like you can, you can use this decently quickly. Oh crap! I'm using beehives. That's not good. I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> All right. Peace, homies.